I've just driven seven hours to get here. It's one of my favorite places in England. It's on the northeast coast, and this beach is called Bamborough Beach. There's Bamborough Castle over there. There's an incredible island over there called Linda's Farm. It becomes an island twice a day when the tide comes in and surrounds it. It's beautiful. Behind me, you've got the uh, Farn Islands. That's, uh, I think that's Staple Island. You've got Staple and Inner Farn, both of them there together. And in about four weeks time, that'll be full of puffins and other seabirds. Amazing. I just love the beach here. I love the whole place. It's just full of magic. Oh. Sunset is about 45 minutes away. There's not going to be much of a sunset, I don't think. But I don't care. I just love to get some shots. I think I want to start by getting a photo of that island, Staple and in a farm. Now I'm down on the sea level. It's nice to see it just there and uh, the, the waves coming in. So I'll start with that. Now, if you're not familiar with this part of the world, then those islands over there were once inhabited by Celtic monks back in the, you know, really early AD, I guess, what, 800 roughly. And uh, there was a guy called Cuthbert, Saint Cuthbert, used to live on, in a farm. And uh, yeah, incredibly difficult existence, but there's a whole nother era to our country. I love the light here. I just love it. Have I mentioned? I love the light here. The light is just, oh, there's nowhere like it apart from the Hebrides. Just the Hebrides has got the same kind of light. It's just magical. There's a tranquility here which you just can't match apart from being out in the Hebrides in Scotland. For me, there's a connection that I make when I'm in these places. I feel like I just come alive. The light is starting to really drop now. We're about half an hour from sunset and you can just tell everything's getting a little bit softer and darker. And even though we won't have a kind of a blazing sunset, I think, I think the sun's just going to vanish somewhere. There's a almost cinematic feel about this landscape. It's so dramatic and yet so peaceful at the same time. This big castle over there just overlooking all this. such a dramatic landscape it almost feels more cinematic because there's not the big you know the big uh, sunset it's got that kind of greeny bluey color that you get in kind of cinema a man just stopped me and said why are you out here tonight there's no light it's not very you know dynamic and I said, I don't really care. I just love this place and I love the light. I love 
the flat light, it doesn't matter for me, I just love it here. But actually, one of the great things is, is that if you check out my presets below, you can shoot in any light and there'll be something in those presets that will bring this to life. So uh, yeah, do click below. There's a bundle there with 130 presets, which should be enough to keep you going. You know, whether you follow my channel for photography, whether you follow me for just the landscapes, hopefully you can just enjoy this moment. It's one of those beautiful moments just before sunset where everything just goes still and calm and apart from the roar, those beautiful waves. You've got my favourite place in the country just over there. Linda's Farm, just love it there. There's a, a saying in Lord of the Rings when Aragorn is talking about Rivendell and he says, it's there my heart ever dwells. That's how I feel about the Holy Island, Linda's Farm. It's a shame the tide's in because I can't get over to see it tonight. But just knowing it's there is enough. <laughs> 